new study women republicans and southerners are more likely to hide their atheism a new study published in social forces shows that female atheists and those from republican southern or religious backgrounds are more likely to hide their non-belief the authors found that it, quote atheists in some social locations report higher levels of identity concealment using new survey data from a nationally representative sample of u.s adults the study revealed that, quote, atheists who feel like social or institutional outsiders are more likely to conceal their identity. In an interview with Religion News Service, Frost, the study lead's author, explained that due to being a member of a marginalized group, individuals are, quote, less likely to take on the additional stigma of being an out atheist. Eklund, another one of the authors, said the study, quote, suggests that openness about one atheist identity may help combat some of the effects of the stigma they face. And uh, Shetlul, uh, also one of the authors, added that, quote, the ability to gather with people, to gather with fellow atheists may help encourage this openness and provide individuals with a safe space, safe place. Atheist organizations can, quote, make it easier for atheists to choose identity affirmation over concealment and even face the perceived hostility. Yeah, I have a lot of opinions in this, but it will open, it will be controversial and it will open a can of worms that we right now don't have time for it. So maybe if. Oh, I want to know, though. <laughs> <laughs> if we, somebody if one brings it up in next week's Q and A, then we could spend more time on it. But um, given the time that we have, but this is like, yeah, this is expected. I'm glad that we have studies that confirms it, so we could address it more. So we have actually like some evidence. So if we want to address it, we don't just claim that we this is just what we see in our communities, right? We we actually have data to back it up. That's always important um yeah, but yeah i thought so this, it was I'm, really interesting how because the one author was talking about you know like being from a marginalized group you you're unlike you're, you're less willing to take on additional stigma and it was funny because i that's not like women republicans and southerners are not who you know we normally think of as a marginalized group but they framed it in um relation to feeling like a social or institutional outsider which i thought was really interesting um right. <laughs> it goes funny as saying as a girl originally from the south this kind of makes sense i feel called out damn can our, you give us a tease our, of your controversial thoughts i think like it's um both some elements of social pressure and also nature like there's some oh. there it's not it's not all social differences it's also some some other things as well okay, that would be interesting that would be how this gets spicy now <laughs> yeah. hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.